bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. Let's do bag 10. <laughs> Now the person. Righty ho. Um, quite a small bag, so we'll, we'll see how we're doing for time, but it might end up that we have to press on into bag 11, but we'll see how we get on. Right. Now then, we're back to one of these again. Of course, these also this 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 may take time because it did last time. Um, so sorry, fruity burp. Straight off with a fruity burp. We want two of these and this. Uh, Nurin. Noreen, 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 she says, uh, morning, the grand piano might be in the spare room. Well, that's a very good point. We shall get to the grand piano um, because I have discovered something. But if I say to you, um, having seen the, uh, what I thought was a Professor Lego poll, um, I then immediately went to the Lego site to, in order to uh, purchase the grand piano because it had been requested. Anyway, I, I was unable to do so because um, uh, the grand piano was not in stock. Anyway, I'll finish that story later. Uh, but you're right, Noreen. Yes, there is a big parcel sitting in the in the spare room, and it very it may well be the grand piano. But I've I've got a deep suspicion it's something else. Uh, Tim Goff, he says, "Oh, quartermaster riggings, and I go back years. Now, where did we meet? I can't remember. For the life of me, he's he's boy he's he's boying us. He's he's boying us, everybody. He is boying us. Oh, wait." I've just remembered. Stop everything. We've got something extraordinarily exciting to tell you. Hang on a minute. Drum roll, please. A new uh, Afawak has arrived at the haunted table. There shall now be uh, a, a, a unveiling. Um, now, he needs something which I need to build for him, but... Here he is. I'm giving you another drum roll. At his request, it's Matt Barnes. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, Matt Barnes. Oh, can you just turn around? Just turn around. Oh, hello. He's got his little name on the back. Um, so there we are. That's Matt Barnes. Um, I need to build him a euphonium. I have had a look, Matt Barnes. I haven't got the, the correct colours. But uh, I'm going to give a, give it a go for you, so I will do that at some point uh, today, I hope. Uh, anyway, welcome uh, to the horse. It's, it's lovely to be here. Lovely to be here, Emma. Um, uh, I'd just like to say hello to all the FOX, and uh, I'm really enjoying being a goose. Super! Well, we're very glad to have you, uh, Spaceman ba uh, uh, Matt Barnes, and uh, Crest Ye Forth. Crest Ye Forth uh, to the bleachers. Yeah, I'm, I'm cresting forth. I'm questing, I'm questing, I'm, I'm questing forth, questing forth. Actually, I tell you what, uh, Matt Barnes, stop in your tracks, yes. Don't quest forth, because I rather think, because it's your first day, you should have a go on the cloud. Oh, 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 can I quest, quest forth to the cloud, to the, to the cloud? Yes, you shall quest forth the, to the cloud. Um, Rosie Lee has been up there for quite the time. So, uh, Rosie Lee, you can go and, and, and uh, keep John Parry uh, company up in the spa. He's still receiving hand-fed uh, butterfly testicles from me. Uh, but there we are, new goose. 
Look at the tremble on that, will you? Look at the tremble. Uh, so there it is, Matt Barnes. He joins us on the haunted table, uh, and it's an absolute thrill and a joy to have you, Matt. So welcome, 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 welcome uh, to the haunted table. Can you imagine the, the the animations we can have now? We've got a spaceman. Thrilled. Thrilled. Um, Oh, glad I. I'd momentarily forgotten about about our about our new minifig because I brought it in yesterday. Um, but it's few e anyway. Matt Barnes joins us. Thrilled. Um, ooh, now this looks a little complicated. Let's let's come back here. Let me put this. No, let's put that there. Right, we're using one of these. Okay, uh, Eric, he's got a duck or fez, yo. They both like watching Lego, and they really like musicals. Oh, his name is Eric. Ba -ba -bum. Um, he says, if it's any consolation to all of you, since my Twitter name was mentioned in RWB's tweet yesterday, I had well over 100 notifications blowing up my phone yesterday with all the replies. Soz Eric. Soz Eric, uh, I, I have notifications permanently off. Permanently off. Now, hang on. Oh, I see. It goes like that. Oh, you can't see. Wait. It goes like that and that. All right. Okay, I think I've got that correct. And then, voila. That goes there. Let's, I'll, I'll, look, look, I'll pirate the flag. That's on there. Okay, right, so now, so now we go, now we're going large. Will you look at the size of it? That's going up the hoo-ha. Thank you. Right, back to the uh, old uh, Google eyes. Uh, Eric says, I love how quickly Georgie can say no. It comes out before you even finish your last, your last syllable, Emma. By the way, am I the only one who thinks Georgie's voice sounds almost exactly like Miranda Hart's voice. I, mm, they are both quite posh in their real lives, um, so maybe that's it. <coughs> oh, here she comes, here she comes. <laughs> uh, hello, hello Everwix, uh, hello, hello Matt Barnes, uh, give him a little wave. Um, Emma, yeah, uh, I'm just wondering, um, Please, can we see the never region that needs the ointment? Um, not in a pervy way, you understand. More, more by way of uh, of medical <coughs> support. I'm just wondering, do you do singing, Dolly Neptune? No, I, I do not do singing. You. Muppet, away with you, away with you, away with you. No, you can't. No, you can't see the nether region that needs the ointment because it was a joke. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Jordan. 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 He says, hang on, I've got to get this up the right way. It's that way up. Uh, speaking of Scandinavians, I got lost once and it was getting lost on epic proportions. The airline made a mistake and somehow I was on a flight to Denmark 
instead of a flight to Amsterdam. What? No idea how it happened. I must be unlucky. So I seemingly got endlessly lost in a Danish airport. I finally flew back to Amsterdam airport after about six hours, when I got lost again, looking for the hotel I was staying at for the layover. Luckily, I didn't really miss any flights to anywhere, but I don't care to repeat the incident. Well, oh, flip the heck. How on earth did they manage that, Jordan? Um, we're off to the Twitter eyes now. Twitter eyes, eyes, eyes. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter rise. Twitter rise, eyes, eyes. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter rise. Thank you. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's been an adjudication. There's been an adjudication from Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Bricks. Uh, this, this is a proper adjudication. It says, future gratuitous singing of Baby Shark will result in the culprit being thrown into a shark cage with the shark. Oh, Tanya now dressed it, 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 it says, uh, best decision ever, Mr. Triggs. Uh, thank you. Now, I'm, I'm going to need, um, I'm going to need uh, a further, a clarification, please. This is... Uh, this this is this is not uh, a a request for an adjudication, please, Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Bricks. This is a request for a clarification, please. Uh, what do I do? Because I would say this is not gratuitous singing. Uh, when it is it, it is it, it is written down by an Afawak, and I am compelled to sing it. Uh, I would like a clarification on this, please, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs. A clar Clarification, a clarification, please, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, a clarification. Uh, ditto, I do believe we have grump a request from Grumpy Mark, which I will be having to um, uh, uh, follow through with, and I think it's only right, but we will get to it later. I would also like a clarification, sir, a clarification. Thank you. Call for a clarification. A call for a clarification from Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Alexa Books. Thank you. Eleven of these. I'm going to count them out. Six. Eight. Ten. Eleven. Thank you. Uh, Grumpy Mark. Grumpy, Grumpy Mark. Uh, well, we haven't got to the request that I have seen. So I won't do it now. I will do it when I see the request. It says, um, I don't know why everybody is so down on the poisson croissant. I love a fish finger body, which isn't that different. Hmm. Little Sue. Yeah, she's called Little Sue. She's little and she's called Sue. It's Little Sue. Hello. Oh, it's It's me. La petite Sue. Uh, I've got a cafe, did, don't you know? It's called Little Sue's Cafe, and I sell poisson croissant for five pounds. Um, anyway, um, uh, trade, trade has been rather brisk, what with the pirates. Um, but anyway, and I might. If you are a hangover or something, you seem to be just skitting from one thought to the next. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, I'd just like to say thank you to to to, to Grumpy, Mo Grumpy Mark because that's what I've been trying to tell everybody. If I could do, uh, would you like a job in the cafe, Grumpy Mark? Oh, this is a development. Um, he says, you should stack fromage croissant too. I used to regularly have one for breakfast when I lived in Geneva. Um, we're going to need a, a, a response to whether or not you want a job in the uh, poisson croissant. Um, 
that's an offer that stands, we could always, we can, we can move you to the cafe at a moment's notice, uh, Grumpy Mark, so we will require a reply on that, thank you. Uh, Eric says, uh, that new Lego piece, the black piece with a slight swirl, looks like part of a Mobius strip. It was tremendous. It, look, it's here. It's this bit here. Look. Stop it. Stop it. Stan's mum. Uh, she says, it was at the end of this bag that I knocked it off the table and it broke into a gazillion pieces. So this is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, no. Oh, Lord above. I mean, the, 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 the haunted table, to be fair, it's quite fulsome, although there is a bit of a precarious situation going on here. <laughs> look, 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 look at, look, look at, uh, look at, look at the... Um, the infrastructure that is now in place for the Afawax. <laughs> it's like a small city that's going on here. Very demanding lot. Very, very, very demanding. Wait, I need to t turn the page. Turn the page. Oh, gosh, now I must get this on the same way. Right. Hang on, please. I'm just concentrating for a nanosecond. We're making the, the grand Lego kebab to end all Lego kebabs. Um, five of these now, okay. Uh, back to the Twitter eyes. Um, little Sue just says, no, no, no. A very sense, the Uncle Strawberry, the Mooning Minnie, the Matter, the Lego Whisperer. He says, what, the whole thing or just this section? Uh, Stan's mum says, all of it, Bevis. It's the one and only time it happened to me quite so catastrophically. Nearly knocked this part off the table and in my lunge to stop it, knocked the rest <gasps> with my elbow. Then by trying to grab the part, the original bit went as well. Not a good day. Oh, good grief. Then there's a lot of gifts. Um... A lot of... Oh, now then. You see, OK, we've got our first challenge here. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, the, uh, clarification, please. Clarification, because I've got Professor Lego. Professor Lego! Butterfly testicles, do 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 do. Butterfly testicles, do 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 do. Butterfly testicles, do 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 do. Big hand, little hand. I mean, I I wouldn't say that was gratuitous. I would say that was forced upon me. That was forced upon me, Mr. Graham Triggs, and I think there should be a clarification. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Will you look at Matt Barnes on the cloud? Let's give him a close up. Will you look at him up there? Oh, tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Um, Eric Oswald. Eric Oswald. I'm surprised they left the figurehead all yellow on the ship. Usually they're more colourful, and I'm surprised Lego wouldn't give us more detail on it. Hmm. I rather like the Lego. I, ra I, ra I rather like the yellow, Eric. And um, I mean, they've got the hair. I think that's I think that's decent. I quite like that. I haven't I haven't got a problem with that. Look, she's got a fulsome skirt. She's got these. I think it's lovely. Um. Uh, yes. Um. I just want to talk about Danish people. Yes. Well. Did, didn't they give us Lego? And without which, there, there would be no Relax With Bricks. And there'd be no other wax I must say. So, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. We, we, we need to be really thankful about Danish people, am I? I mean, I mean honestly, if I wasn't living here, I'd be living in Copenhagen. I've said it many a time. I've got lots of Danish friends. 
Um, so I would be delighted to go and live in De in Denmark. And plus, I would immediately go and try and get a job at Lego. I mean, obviously, can you imagine? I would just be standing permanently um, outside their headquarters, uh, crying. I mean, I would be crying. There would be no, no doubt about that. There would be crying. And, um, oh, crumbs. This is, ooh. Ooh. Oh, thank you. I'll have a round of applause for that. Flipping neck. That was, that was quite the handful. Oh. Um, uh, yes, I would, I would almost certainly be living in Denmark. Uh, I love Denmark. I love the Danes. I love everything about them. Everything about them. They're my favourites. I, I came to pose the same question a uh, little so did, did I somehow disparage the Danes yesterday? Because I can't believe it if I did. That would be very unlike me. Was, was I momentarily, had I been knocked unconscious or something? I don't remember this. I mean, of course, I remember nothing from one day to the next. We all know this. I came to pose the same question a little so. All that playful joshing. And somehow everybody managed to forget about the Christiansen family and how we're all so indebted, very indebted, to Bill and... Oh. Ah, 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 the holy land of Bill and Bill and... Ah, ah, ah. The left and right break are two by four with bow slash angle. Ah, <whistles> uh, indeed, new to you, Emma, although not new to Lego sets. This particular piece has been seen in 73 sets spanning its ongoing 18 year lifespan. This year, it saw use in both this set. And the three-in-one creator pirate ship. It's a lovely piece. 18 years it's been on the go. Hoo-wee. Its first appearance, the UCS Naboo Starfighter. Coloured yellow. The UCS Naboo Starfighter is the smallest UCS set sold, consisting of a mere 187 pieces. Quite the contrast, you will agree from the 7,541 of the 2017 UCS Millennium Falcon. I mean, that's a lovely little thing. If you're into, in, if you're into the flying sp spaceships. Uh, Bevis uh, Musson says, are those silver bricks and plates on that set actually proper metallic silver? Or is that just some wishful thinking on the marketing uh, people's front? Because I've never seen silver Lego that shiny. Yes, let's have a look at it again. Look, That's pretty shiny. Uh, they were chrome plated and not just an exaggeration cooked up by a marketing team. With the exception of the 2x2x2 cone. All of the chrome pre 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 pieces, as easy for you to say, the chrome pieces present here were only ever used in this set. So not easy to come by for any reasonable amount of cash. Will you look at the shine on that? Oh, I love that. Uh, Bevis says, oh, now I covet chrome-plated Lego. Yes, please. Yes, I do. Uh, so this is the best way I've seen a list of previously available silver chrome pieces that I found. Um, there's a, he provides a link if you're interested in... Uh, Oh, where am I up to? Oh, here. I think I've I think I've done it, with the exception of this. Um, Bevis says I've got I've got a couple of chrome knives and swords, Lego ones, obviously, but I think that's it. Uh, then he he says the capstan, the bit that winds up and down the anchor, is lovely. Yes, I really like it. It's look, it's so nice. It's so nice. Uh, it's lovely and even better for the fact that it's fully functional. I completely agree with you. Uh, then he says, I wasn't going to tell you off about the mistake you made. Oh, really? Pretty bad. Because you caught it uh, quickly enough, but I will if you want. Hmm. 
You've missed a bit on step 308, but in this case I would place the blame, gasp, on Lego. What? What? Uh, step 308 shows a pin and a one by one black barrel in the bits you need box, but also shows the barrel and a grabber going on the top of the mast. The grabber then isn't shown as being needed until the next step, even though the instructions have already shown it being put in place. The upshot of which is that you need to put the black barrel one by one at the end of the mast section with the grabber on the end. Otherwise, the rigging later will be a bit slack. I fixed it. I fixed it, Bevis. I fixed it. Thank you. Fixed it. Um, push the ball into the socket at the base of the mast. Thank you. That was satisfying. So that it holds it secure. It's flapping loose right now. Well, it's, it's not anymore. Thank you, Bevis. Uh, he then says, yes, we have a Lego train set, the Intercity uh, Lego City one, I think. So we have a lot of track and the wheel and bumper pieces. But most of the rest is pretty standard bricks. The original design was the Winter Holiday train set number 10254. No idea how expensive it is to buy these days, but I suspect it's cheaper to get the tracks and wheels slash bumpers separately and just MOC it. Mm. It's a while since we've had a modular, actually. Have you got any waiting uh, to be built? No, I haven't. No, no modulars. We're out of modulars, so I'll, I will be getting that a, as soon as I can. Uh, like the prof says, I don't really think that missed one by two plate is going to make any real difference if you leave it off. It's a structural element, but hardly a critical one. Yes, that was, yes, I decided against it because it was too much faff. Uh, then he says, uh, all the baby shark singing today isn't quite as bad because you've clearly forgotten the tune again, Rude. I mean, I can I can go away and learn it again if you want, Bevis. Would you, would you like me to do that? Would you? Would you? I mean, I will. Well, hang on. Ooh, I think it's going here. Right, now what's going on here? Um, the yellow is the one design element on this set on this set that I kind of wish were different. Oh, you like Eri, you don't like the yellow either. Gosh, I love it. It's the same colour scheme as the original Black Seas Barracuda, but can you imagine how lovely it would be if it were all gold instead? Oh, now you've said that. I can't disagree with it. I mean, obviously, we all love a bit of gold. We all love the gold best. There's no doubt about that. Um, oh, I wish you hadn't said that, Bevis. There was me, perfectly delighted with the yellow. And now I'm just sad it's not gold. Now then. Okay. I think I've managed that. Up there. Super. Um, Neil says, I agree, and I also think all the gold pieces, all the window pieces should be pearl gold rather than the black ones, and the white ones are still to come towards uh, the top of the ship. Uh, Bevis says, I would not disagree with this suggestion. If I knew I could get all the parts in gold, then I would consider replacing them too, but there are a few key elements that I'm pretty certain come in neither shade of gold currently. Neil says, kind of explains why the pieces are the colours they are in some respects. I realise occasionally that everyone, including me, always wants more, never satisfied with the wonderful set created for us to enjoy, always wanting that extra bit from the creators. Then I feel bad. Bevis says, yes, my understanding is that they'll do pieces in a new colour if there's a good justification for it, but I suspect given the number of new pieces they'd have to do, it just wouldn't be cost effective. Mm. Mm. Um, look at this now. Well done, me. Well done, me. Molly's absolutely furious outside. Absolutely furious. Grumpy Marx says, I did have another theory about the line Charlie Chop. She fights crime with hair, face hair. Hair, face hair, being a rather formal German detective. 
on secondment in the UK. But I decided that idea was ridiculous. Mm. Uh, Bevis is no more ridiculous than almost every other element of Relax With Bricks. <sighs> right now, here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, clarification, please. Clarification, please, Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee uh, of Relax With Bricks. Clarification, please. Grampy, Grampy Mark. I would like this to be my RWB theme tune. Grampy Mark, do do be do be do. Grampy Mark, do do be do be do. Grampy Mark, do do be do be do 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 do. Clarification, please. Clarification. Says I'm not a particularly demanding Effelweck. This is true. This is absolutely true. Hang on, because I'm I'm sticking up a platform here. Wait, Grumpy Mark. He's not demanding. He's not remote. In, fa in fact, he's probably the least demanding of all the Effelwecks in ways that 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 only I know. In private, it, only I know how undemanding he is. And he says, and even I even let the other Effelwecks decide whether or not to keep my accent. So please, let me have this. Dar very much. That's very naughty of you, Grumpy Mark. Naughty? Moi? Oh no. Here she comes, Jackie Swan. Oh no. Again, I'm sorry, Mr. Graham Triggs. Um, a clarification because, <sighs> gee whiz, uh, this is Jackie Swan. Purple crabs do do be do be do. Purple crabs do do be do be do. Purple crabs do do be do be do. Purple crabs. Neil says uh, there needs to be clarity on what constitutes gratuitous and what doesn't. Hashtag Lego laws. Then Jackie says I don't care do do be do be do. I don't care do do be do be do. I don't care do do be do be do. I don't care. Uh, Bella says, this is Jackie. I think we can all agree that anything she does is gratuitous. So therefore, there then follows a gift war. A gift war. Uh, Rosie uh, Redbeard, uh, uh, who is doing her micro build. Look at that. Flippin' heck. She says, uh, German Neusch van Stein, 10 layers completed, 64 to go. Very different experience doing micro bricks build. Yes, it is. It's more a personal achievement rather than enjoying the build. I would completely agree with that. Completely agree with that. Uh, Jill Perry, um, you sneezed. So I said, bless you. Uh, it was as simple as that. Um, oh, yes, I remember now. I remember. I recall. Now then, hang on. We've We've got three different lengths of this got three different lengths let's check it thank you yes and we want three of these we want two of those double checking double checking thank you now then we want these those two of these can you believe I'm actually amassing the pieces before I begin? That one of those, two of these, I mean, it's very rare that I do this these days, isn't it? And that, thank you. Right, uh, Professor Lego, I humbly ask, that we avoid referencing parts one to three of Star Wars. Young Anakin, teenage Anakin, Yar Jar Binks, Medic Glorious. It is an endless list of horrors that we should erase from history. Um, this is because a lot of the gifts are including part one to three of Star Wars, which uh, obviously has upset the prof uh, quite considerably. John Perry uh, then says, prequel, uh, ooh, the prequel trilogy is better than the sequel uh, trilogy. 
act up what? Sorry, are you mad, John Perry? Have you actually lost your mind? I, I it, right, to anyone who says to me, oh, the prequel, uh, the prequel ones are better than the, uh, the sequel, I'm sorry. Uh, there is a deleted, it, th there is a scene in um, the second one where uh, Anakin Skywalker and, uh, and Natalie Portman are coming, are, are basically on a tube train and they have suitcases. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, but je je you should never, ever, ever see a Jedi carrying a suitcase. And apparent, and there is a deleted scene, which you can uh, watch if you have the DVD, where they're basically having a massive domestic um, with um, Natalie Portman's parents. And it's like you're watching an episode of Neighbours. It's ridiculous. So, no, no. The only prequel I will say is better uh, than any of them, actually, is, is the Rogue one which is the one that leads up to Star Wars. That is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's a really brilliant film. Thank you. I've spoken. I got that off my chest, didn't I? Uh, Professor Lego says, really? Yoga the Green Hedgehog spinning around as if it's part of a Sega game. Uh, then John Perry says, oh, somehow the Emperor has returned. Uh, cool. That'll do. Uh, well, yes, fair point. Uh, Eric says, a Fazio once again curled up asleep during the quiet bits of RWB. Oh, will you look at him and love him. Love Fazio. By the way, I hope you enjoyed your bonus build uh, yesterday, Gooses. Wasn't it lovely? It's absolutely divine. Really lovely little build. Although, uh, as I said yesterday... If I was designing this, I would have had Scrooge in bed, in a four-poster bed, being visited by um, the Christmas ghosts. That's what I would have done. That's what I would have done. Uh, Tanya, now says, choking on coffee incident here. Ooh, can you feel the burn, says Emma, right after Gigi informs us. Oh, she's got the ointment for Emma's nether regions. <laughs> I hope it works for you. I really do. Um, uh, Jackie Swan says yes it was me and I don't care uh, then she says she's going on the end uh, boing uh, Emma yes um, ple please can you check people's names before reading out their comments because it will be much safer you need, you need to trust, trust me on this do, do you trust me, Emma? Um, yes, yes, I do. I do trust you. Yes, I do trust you. Uh, yes, I yes, I do. Yes. Well, j just for future reference, because there's clearly somebody who's being a little bit naughty, and I just think. You need to, to read it, to read out the, the names of the people in a very careful fashion before 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 you do before 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 you read it read it read it out. Thank you. Please press the button. What on what on earth could she be referring to? What on earth could she be referring to? Well, I suspect we'll get to it. Hang on a minute. Where, where, oh, that's because I only needed one. I only needed one of them. Didn't need three. Got that wrong, didn't I? Right, this. Ooh, it's going here. Thank you. It's going there. Uh, Ruth Hayes says, Though I fully endorse the request for that there, the Little Mix to release a cover of Baby Shark, it was Gillian B that made the request, not me. Oh, I'm, I apologise profusely to, also to Gillian B. Seeing as I mixed up Neil and Mike yesterday, I'm not complaining, just giving Gillian B due recognition. Then uh, Jackie Swan says there's an ointment for that with the picture of a scratching bear. I don't know what you're referring. Uh, Ruth Hay says, all the chat re-Scandinavia has given me joy. 
Our last proper holiday was a three-week road trip of northwest Europe, June 2019, the final destination being Copenhagen. Once there, we realised we could easily go over the bridge to Sweden and Wallander country. What a trip. We're so going back. Oh, honestly, um, I, would, I, I remain desperate to go and see the Northern Lights. It's the one thing I've never done and I really, 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 really want to do it. And uh, we keep saying as soon as we can go on holiday again, that's right up there on uh, my, my bucket list. Absolutely desperate to do it. I really, really want to go and see the Northern Lights. But of course, you, you, it's one of those things, isn't it, where you... Um, there's no guarantee you'll see them, but my gosh. But I'd love to go all around the top of Norway and Sweden and up into the Arctic Circle. Oh, I love all that. I absolutely adore snowy landscapes and big mountains. And that's, that's my jam, that is. Absolutely lovely. Um... John Perry, oh, this, is, oh, this really is a lovely build. I, I didn't get it because my brother did, but I still want it. Uh, Neil says, will your brother share it with you? He lives in another town. He did give me pretty much all his other Lego. You could always, you could always ask to borrow it so that you can build it, so you can have the joy of building it. That's tonight. Have you tried that, John Perry? Try that, John Perry. Or just ask for it for Christmas. How would that work? Would that work? Would it? Although make sure that whoever buys it, buys it through your, your VIP account so you get the points. Um, Rosie Redbeard, uh, Lee says, catching up, do do. Mm. We need a clarification, please, Mr. Graham Triggs. A clarification, a clarification, please. Catching up, do do be do be do. Catching up, do do be do be do. Catching up, do do be do be do. Catching up. Bev says, "Oh, Rosie, not you as well." Yeah, I mean, honestly, that there's certain people who are being a little bit naughty. Um, um, <laughs> Jackie Swan says, "I'm sorry, Emma. I'm not one to complain." But what happened to the Pearson? Do you know what? I don't know what happened to the Pearson because I defo did one, but it didn't appear, did it? That's a mystery to me because I definitely did a Pearson. But anyway, it disappeared. It disappeared. Uh, Ruth says, I'm, I'm enjoying this so much. Uh, Tanya says, me too. Not one I want to buy, but I'm really loving it. Uh, Ruth says, yes, at first glance, it wouldn't have been something I'd be at all interested in, but it's so full of detail and humour. Pity it's so big, I just don't have the space. Bevy says, it splits very neatly in two, but even then they're pretty large and very tall pieces. So if you are even vaguely thinking seriously about it, it's worth checking the dimensions and ensuring you have room. And then Ruth says, uh, this is my corner of the dining room. Tap to enlarge if necessary. The only other space is in our son's bedroom. Not sure how well that would go down. Well, one day, oh, look, look. One day, uh, that son will have to leave Ruth Hayes and then you can completely take over his bedroom. For comparison, the bookshop, uh, Bevis says, is 29 centimetres high and 25 centimetres wide and deep. Barracuda Bay is 59 centimetres high and 64 centimetres wide and 32 centimetres deep. So even if you split the two halves up, they'd still both be bigger than the bookshop. Mm. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is good. This needs a um, mic. Uh, formerly known as Toby Mori, Jake. He got the wrong email. Let me put this on up here. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. I haven't put that on. Thank you. Go on there. That's it. It's in. It's in. It's in. Um, he says, number one, mugging monkey memories. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. In 2004, Neil and I were on honeymoon in Thailand and went on a guided tour of Phra Nakhon Kiri Kao Wang. 
I mean, I don't know if I've pronounced that, that right, but I will try again. Fra Nakon Kiri Kaowang, an old royal palace at the top of a hill. The palace was stunning, and it was a baking hot, 40 degrees C. Our guide, a very pleasant and friendly young woman, was carrying a large stick and informed us that the palace was now inhabited with monkeys and that they can get aggressive. So to stay close to her, so she could fend them off. We were close to the end of the tour when one of the larger monkeys decided the heat was all too much for him and he was going to have a drink regardless of what it took. In my naivety and apprehension, I poured some of my water bottle out. This was not enough for him. Suddenly our stick-wielding tour guide was nowhere to be seen and this monkey was advancing on me. So in fear, I threw my bottle and we had to make a quick exit as the monkeys hissed and scrabbled for the bottle. I will forever stand by the fact that monkeys are evil water muggers. Hashtag, I was once mugged by a monkey. Oh, well done. Well done. Uh, Neil then adds, uh, the monkey literally caught the bottle of water and sat with perfectly refined motor skills, handling the bottle and drinking from it as we would. He wasn't polite and thankful, but very much rehydrated, finished off around a third of the water. He was also a litter bug. Hmm. Now then, now we get to it. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> sorry. Uh, so Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did a great big sneeze. Came from nowhere as well. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, sorry. Crumbs. Getting it all wrong here. Now we get to it. I'm going to take a uh, little Sue's advice here, of course, and read out the uh, the name uh, properly. So now we have evil Professor Lego. <laughs> Who, who's this, do we wonder? Who, who is this evil Professor Lego? And of course it was evil Professor Lego, it turned out, that uh, posted the, um, the poll yesterday uh, re asking me to buy the grand piano. And I will be honest here, I didn't realise it was evil uh, Professor Lego. I thought it was a legitimate uh, Professor Lego poll. And so off I went to spend £319 out of the Christmas money that I'd been given by my dad because I thought, well, if they, if they want me to, to, to build the, the grand piano, then I'm going to have to get one. And it was only the fact that it was out of stock on the Lego website that prevented me from purchasing the grand piano that I thought had, that had been requested by the Afwax. Anyway, it turns out it hadn't been requested by the Afwax, which I found out after the event. It was all done by evil Professor Lego. Anyway, there's there's a new evil Professor Lego uh, poll today and it goes like this. Since yesterday's went so well, today's poll, should Emma give me £1,000? Uh, in third place, it's uh, with yes, it's 0%. Uh, in second place, with 13%, it's definitely. And in first place, with 87%, uh, it's give... Uh, two thousand um, pounds. So I'd like an adjudication here, please. I'd like an adjudication here, please, um, uh, from the VAR, Mr. Mr. Triggs, the official referee of Relax with Blix. Ca can we take it as red, please, sir? Can we take it as red that any poll conducted by evil Professor Lego can be roundly ignored? Can, can it, please? By the way, look, we've just put that up there at a jaunty angle. Uh, that is a request for adjudication. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nessa Quinn uh, then says, uh, Evil Prof, I do believe you, you've misplaced the decimal point. Should it not read 0 0.01 pence? Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's a boing. That concludes club business. Right. Now, there's shenanigans here. This Have I got... Right, right. so... Who is Evil Professor Lego? 
I mean, part of me is hoping it's Gary Blair. Gary Blair, Gary Blair. All I want to see is the return of Gary Blair. The never ending bore. Oh, oh, yeah. All I want to see is the return of Gary Blair. He must always be in vision. Although, technically, you could say, well, he, he's very rarely in vision, but except. He is in vision um, because he's always in my vision. And that is, of course, what is meant by he must always be in vision. Oh, look at, would you, oh, whoops, almost, hang on, hang on, hang on. We, we can get there, hang on, I'll just pan down so you can see what's going on here. So that's gone through there like that. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. Let me just look. You look at that. Look at it. It's absolutely flipping enormous. It's flipping enormous. Right, what's happening now? Oh, okay. We get, we're getting out the old... We're getting out one of these. Now, which one is it? I think it's this one. There's a lot of different shapes. But I think this is the one we want. I think it's this one. Right, not that way. So that goes round. No, that's not right. I don't think that's right. It goes here. Hang on. It's going to have to be mega big hand, little hand here. And it looks like that goes there. But then where does this go? It doesn't tell you where this goes which is a worry. Where does this go? Hmm, there? Does it go there? Well, I'm guessing it's that. That's not clear. In the, in the instruction booklets, you've only got where this one's being attached. Interesting. Maybe we'll see on the other side. Um, this is pretty much the last thing we're doing today. Oh, look at that. I thought we were going to have to do another... another um, I thought we were going to have to do another bag today. Absolutely not. No need. Come, sir. Voila. And voila. And that. Oh, gosh. Really? Crumbs, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, crumbs. Mm. Okay, it's in. Oh, look, look at that now. What's that, the keel? Oh my goodness, we're going on. Now, where are we going on? Oh, I think I see, yes. Right, there's two, look, there and there. And we've got these knobbly bits here. Right, good luck, studio. Right, that one's in there. That's in. 
and that's in oh my goodness well look at that look at that that's amazing isn't it I mean that is amazing that is completely amazing by the way if you can hear noises it's Georgia Gibbon look at that okay well that was fabulous super well that was uh, bag 10 and come back tomorrow and we will uh, tackle bag 11 I'm slightly worried I've got one of these left over but that might it it might just be a spare but anyway that was that uh, come back tomorrow and then we will carry on uh, Avowax forever bye bye